Welcome to our lecture online. In this example, we're going to find the center of gravity of a semi-ellipse. Here we have the semi-ellipse. The height is b. The width from the origin to the side is a. The equation is x squared over uh, x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared equals one. And of course, the area of a semi-ellipse is pi a b divided by two. So we can either find the x-coordinate or the y-coordinate by one of these two equations. But when we look at it, we realize that the x-coordinate, the center mass of that will be the center, the x-coordinate of the center mass will be zero. So we'll be looking for the y-coordinate of the center of mass. So we can say that y-coordinate is equal to the integral of the y-coordinate of each individual little piece times the area of each piece divided by the total area of the semi-ellipse. So let's get a small little delta A, so this is small little dA, which is equal to the height, which is y, times the width, which is dx. And then if we want to find the center of, of gravity of that small little piece in the y direction, that will be equal to the total height y divided by 2. So we can say here that the y coordinate of that small little piece is equal to the total height y divided by 2. Plugging those into our equation here, we get the following. This is equal to the integral. Since we're going to integrate from minus a to a, it might be better just to integrate from 0 to a and double that integral. So we're going to go two times from 0 to a. The y coordinate of that point right there is y over 2 times the dA, which is going to be y times dx. And the whole thing divided by the area of that semi-ellipse. Plug it in the numbers. We have a 2 divided by 2 that cancels out. This is equal to the integral of y squared dx going from 0 to a divided by the area, which would be pi a times b divided by 2. We're not quite ready to integrate yet because we have a y squared and the dx in the integral. So we have to come over here and solve for the y squared in terms of x squared. So we have y squared divided by b squared is equal to 1 minus x squared over a squared. And finally, multiplying this through by b squared, we get y squared is equal to b squared times the quantity 1 minus x squared over a squared. And that can then be substituted in for y squared in our integral. So when we do that, we get the following. The y coordinate of the center of gravity is equal to, factoring out the b squared, we get b squared times integral from 0 to a of the quantity 1 minus x squared over a squared times dx all divided by pi a b over 2. Notice that this b will cancel out with one of those. Now we can go ahead and integrate. When we integrate we get the following that will be equal to b times that would be x minus x cubed over 3a squared. So we add one to the exponent, divide by a new exponent. We evaluate from 0 to a, and we divide by what we have left, which is pi a over 2. We're plugging the upper limit. So we have the y coordinate of the center of gravity is equal to b times. When we plug in the upper limit, we get a minus a cubed divided by 3a squared. We don't have to plug in the lower limit because we'll get 0 and the whole thing divided by pi a divided by 2. Simplifying it a little bit more, the a squared here counts out 2 of the a cubes. We end up with b times, that would be a minus a over 3 divided by pi a over 2. And of course, 1a minus a third of an a, that gives us two-thirds of an a. So b times two-thirds of an a divided by pi a over 2. Then I can cancel out this a with this a. And the 2 will go to the numerator, the 3 to the denominator. That gives us 4b divided by 3 times pi. And that would be the y-coordinate of the center mass of this semi-ellipse. If you want to write the answer, we have the x and the y coordinates. That's going to be equal to 0 for the x coordinate because it's right there on the y axis. And for the y coordinate, we get 4b divided by 3 pi. What happened if we were to take the other half, if we take the, left, the right half instead of the left half, instead of the top half, and the bottom half, then we would have an x coordinate. 
And so if we do that, then we'll get a 4a divided by 3 pi here and a 0 for the y-coordinate there. So that seems pretty obvious when you think about it. But anyway, here's the technique to find the x and y coordinates of a semi-ellipse, uh, I should say, of the center of gravity of the semi-ellipse. And that's how it's done.